Thank you. Hey, we're in LJ, Georgia. Welcome to LJ, Georgia. If you live here, welcome home. If you don't, welcome to LJ, Georgia. We are buying an AZ Hive today. Last June, the family took a road trip down to LJ, Georgia. I had seen a video on YouTube that sparked a fire in me to try a Slovenian hive. A Slovenian beehive, also known as an AZ hive, is unique in three main characteristics. The most obvious one is that the frames sit inside the hive like books on a shelf and pull out from the back. They ride on a set of perpendicular rails to support them and prevent the bees from propolizing the frames to the floor. Second, they are often installed apartment style in a bee house, where the beekeeper can work in shelter from the sun or the rain if necessary. This house also acts as a buffer against the effects of temperature extremes on the colonies. Third, the hive boxes are of finite size. There is no adding of supers to support a growing colony, so unique management practices are required. The idea that a beehive is more than just a solitary box sitting out in the elements, but is part of a larger structure, a bee house, was intriguing enough for me to drive down to Georgia for a hive I could begin my experiments with. While I attempted to find plans or dimensions to build this hive myself, there just isn't much written in English. However, I was led to Brian Drebber. Hello everybody, I'm Brian Drebber. A beekeeper, carpenter, and broadcast personality in Georgia. He was producing the hives one at a time in his workshop and was gracious enough to build a three-tier hive for me. I fully intend to make careful notes of the dimensions for future construction of my own. While in LJ, we joined the local bee club in an informative AZ Hive presentation by Professor Janko Bosik of Slovenia, and were treated to a visit of Brian Drebber's bee house. In the past year, I've given it a coat of paint to protect it. I've readied the frames with starter strips. I prepared an A-frame shelter and Jesse and Lolo have made murals of cultural tributes in accordance with the Slovenian hive tradition. Instead of doing the traditional Slovenian hive folk art, um, we did follow along similar lines where they do religious stories. So uh, I did religious figures. So we have the Holy Family up here with Joseph and Jesus and Mary. Um, in the middle one, we have Saint Isidore and Saint Maria de la Cabeza, they're a husband and wife. Saint Isidore is the patron saint of farmers, and Maria de la Cabeza is, is named that because they would take her head out after she had died to uh, try to bring rain upon the, the fields. And the bottom panel is St. Francis of Assisi with the wolf. There's a story of him where he talks to a wolf who's been terrorizing a town and the wolf agrees to stop terrorizing the town if the village feeds him and they all learn to love the wolf and, and so it's this big thing it's, uh, in that particular region. Um, they're shaking hands and paw, I guess, but Lolo decided to cover that up. She's not quite as convinced of, of the amicable interactions between the two of them. She even painted a little bit of blood on St. Francis's head and said that was from the wolf. But the whole point is to, to channel some of the characteristics and the, the good intents of, of these particular religious figures in, in our beekeeping and in our homesteading and farming kind of stuff. Gardening. I hope you'll come back next time when I travel to the Franciscan Monastery Gardens to pick up a nucleus hive and see how I plan to install it into this AZ hive. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.